Hello and welcome to the Weekly Geek. That has not been so weekly. We apologize, but not really, because we've been busy educating. That's right. Anyway, <laughs> so first of all, I'm going to talk about some awesome ebooks that we have in the library. If you like ebooks, follow Who along. I like ebooks. Absolutely. And some people tell me, oh, I only read paper books. You might be missing out. Or not. You have that handy iPad now, so why not? You do. So in the self-service app on your iPads, there is a library section. Under the library section, there's an app called Destiny Discover. You can see it on the screen right here. So if I click into that, all I'm going to do is log in with my username. If you would like your username, let me know. I will send you the information. And you will see when it loads, there's a long list of over 300 books, I believe. Ebooks, audiobooks, lots of different options. They are everything from fiction, nonfiction, fantasy, dystopian, many different options. And I highly recommend using this platform if it loads. There we go. So as you'll see, we've just got some new Stephen King in. And just in time some for of them went out immediately. We've got all the Green Mountain Book Awards or the ones that we could get. We've got the Dorothy's List books. And many books. We've got 387 ebooks and audiobooks in there. Use it with your class, use it with for outside reading. Just have fun with it, basically. Awesome. So if you want information about ebooks, let me know and I will help you with that. Photobomb. Okay. Lori. Moving right along, uh, next week is Digital Citizenship Week, FYI. Even though it's a short week, it's a handy time to check out the Common, Me uh, Common Sense Media app, which is right here. Uh, if you aren't familiar with it, it's super handy um, to check out what Common Sense believes are appropriate apps or films or books or whatever for your children, um, basically any kind of media, children. I said children, I meant students, but your kids too, if you have your own children. Um, so you can check out uh, all kinds of media and let's just do a little quick example. Uh, if, you're, if your students are wanting to play games, for example, in class, uh, Common Sense rates both the age as well as all of the different things that you'll see within the actual game that you might look for or be alarmed by. For example, how much violence? How much sex? Is it easy to play? I said that word. Uh, are there positive role models? Um, is there language in it? Are there positive messages? Is there consumerism? Um, drinking and drugs. So seriously, the nitty gritty, everything that you will expect or, to see in games or films or TV shows, whatever. And the nice thing is they've done the hard work for you. They've already reviewed it. They've already rated it. So it's all there. You could also refine it. So if you're looking for a certain age range and information like that, what platform, all that stuff is on there. And if you notice, they have yeah. books too. If you don't feel like coming to the library and asking my opinion, there's a book section, there's an app section, TV show section, website section, all that stuff. Just saying, check it out. Good digital citizenship. Yes, it's important to remember and remember to remind the students to be good digital citizens in this world we live in. Steve? Hi. Um, restart your computers and make sure you log off at the end of the day. A lot of you folks aren't logging off at the end of the day and your computers haven't updated since August. Um, so that's why they're starting to run a little clunky. So recommendations from ITs, make sure you're logging off at the end of the day. Key days to making sure you're logging off, Fridays and Mondays. Um, updates typically come out on Tuesday morning, so um, that's when they apply. So Fridays and Mondays are the, are the day to log off. But really, should we be logging off every night when we go home? You should be, yes. Uh, a lot of people use the, the Windows L shortcut, which is actually lock, Locking it, right? not log off. Um, so make sure you go down to your start menu, lower right hand corner, or lo excuse me, lower left hand corner of your screen, uh, click on the start menu, click on your name uh, with the little silhouette, and click uh, sign out or log off. And uh, that would help keep your machine running in tip-top shape, everybody. Good. Sounds Hallelujah. like a good suggestion to me. Anything else to add, everyone? Think That's right. Good. Have a great week. Have a great week. We are coming into a short week next week, so stay peppy and have a great middle of October.